So this has popped up on my timeline again. Let's have a read through some of these 1915 rules for teachers. Number one, you will not marry during the term of your contract, which would be fine nowadays, seeing as though everyone's on a temporary one. Number two, you are not to keep company with men. My, would you? Number three, you must be home between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 a.m., unless attending a school function. So I imagine the end of term staff dues would have been going off in 1915. You may not loiter downtown in ice cream stores because we all know teachers can't get enough of the Ben and Jerry's, the Hagen dars You may not travel beyond the city limits unless you have permission of the chairman of the board. You know, that band. Give me just a little more time. Um, you may not ride in a carriage or automobile with any man unless he's your father or brother. And we moan about having to sit through well-being staff meetings, eh? Didn't know we were born. You may not smoke cigarettes. You may not dress in bright colours. Well, that'd be most of the teaching workforce. Now, we love a bright jumper. You may not, under no circumstances, dye your hair. <laughs> you must wear at least two petticoats. Two! At least! But to be fair, going off the weather, I'd be, I'd be layering up. I'd be on my sixth, seventh. Your dresses must not be any shorter than two inches above the ankle. And to keep the schoolroom neat and clean, you must sweep the floor at least once daily Scrub the floor at least once a week with hot soapy water. Clean the blackboards at least once a day and start the fire at 7am so the room will be warm by 8am. That last one is what most of us are doing anyway, given the budget cuts and the fact we can't afford to pay our energy bills. So that one's stood the test of time.